number one, RGD Sparks versus Onyx PH. Rayos Del Sol is not here. Kyrie's not playing. Instead, this is Flick. So, uh, let's see. Instead, no, Flick is sitting out. You're right. Si J Lord. Si J Lord, a lot of hatred on the last lot, Ragnar. Hate is back in the jungle and Bimo playing the five for Onyx PH. So, this is similar to a lineup we saw them play in. MPL Philippines Season 8. So instead of trying something completely new or something that might change, this was still a really solid lineup they have. It's it's the HBD combo. Si Hatred, Bimo, at si Delorsky na sa mapa. HBD indeed. For Origin Esports naman, makita natin dito, that's the first five. Si Adrian Bacalio. Si Toshi playing that Eve. And of course, Killer uh, here in the uh, off lane. And Doc Men. Shout out to my Dominatics Jen. Nagbe babysit dito sa bottom lane. Interestingly enough, Renmar, can you explain this to me? What's going on with that Retribution Claude? Oh, Retribution Claude. Uh, I think picking it up really just to survive when you go in for the Blazing Duet. Of course, pag nag na pag uh, vengeance ka. Having the vengeance up actually will help you reduce damage at the same time. Pag natamaan ka ng mga basic attack. Magre reflect yan as a magic damage, but really it's just to reduce the damage you can take. Pagpaso, oh, the oh. mga laban. Bimo buying so much time at low. Ang napilita niya sumagot sa kanya all this while hatred was taken on the turtle one v one. Mang ma the Delix pa yata ito purple buff ni Cho uh, ni uh, hatred. And Choco takes it. Uh, forces out an answer. Pero hindi nagre three. So okay lang naman dahil hindi rin nabawi ni Hatred. Wow, Origin Esports. You see that? Yeah. They're moving really well. Alam nila that there was really a good chance at Onyx PH. We're just focusing on the turtle instead. So ginawa ng Origin. Okay, sa purple buff na lang kami. We're just gonna take the purple buff away from the Lancelot. It's a classic play that teams go for, that players go for. Good call there by Origin. But Onyx Philippines has the lead. But both teams actually doing right the right things right now. Playing the map really well. Huh. Now I'm questioning kung worth it ba yun. Libre turtle para sa purple. Kailangan ng lancer at yun. Let's see how Hatred will recover. Now look at this deep cut by Trinchera Delarski using that Uranus kit this early on. Siyempre, confident na siya eh. Meron siya purify, meron siya ang consecration. And in mid, baka may masamang plano. Dogman catches one. Si Bimo na naman puli. Here comes the real revelation. That's Toshi keeping them in place. Down goes Bimo. Choco mababaw yan. And Green oh, Valoisky oh, takes him down. Here comes Delar. Yun yung idea niya. Here comes Delar. And Dogman kahay siya na isa pang Ionic Edge. Plus, the phantom execution. Punker on through. Down goes the Kufra. Killer still alive. Interesting exchange. Onik comes out on top though. Oh, great timing by Bimo. Munti ka na siya na set up, but just at the right time, Bimo, this was actually the first uh, invade earlier, but Bimo nakagamit ka ng Don't Run Wolf King second skill just at the right time para ma-interrupt yung unang Tyrant's uh, revenge or set up attempt ni Dogman, which just bought time for Onyx Philippines to respond. Yes, napick off dun si Bimo, but Onyx Philippines were able to answer right back, being able to take down Choco and Dogman, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, they also were able to take down Toshi. This is the second turtle up. Pinanatiko same parin ba yung priorities ng Onyx oh. PH and nice jump in by Doc Man. Pero hindi may burst! Hatred! Inu Hog! Si Toshi! At babag sakari nyata dito si Doc Man. Double kill for Daylord! And just like that, open na open ang pagong. The burst damage galing sa Thorn Roads. Thorn Rose ni Hatred. The burst damage coming in from Greed. And again, Bimo! Uh, this is why I think they're they're loving the ruby pick and they're willing to take it up the over the Kufra, knowing that Origin Esports most likely Kufra people in nila. You can interrupt Ku Kufra for like a split second or at least a second with one second skill. Naginamit ni ni Ruby by interrupt yung flow ni Dogman na magset up. Yep. So maganda yung initiation, pero in the long run kapag kontrolado ni flow ng laban. Onyx PH comes out on top, and not just in those small team fights, but yung mga pa eh. Again, 
Dilarski doing Dilarski things. He's moving within top and mid. Kaya hindi rin makaporma masyado origin. Now, Renmar, look at this. They're coming in underneath tier 1. And there's going to be a jump in. And yun nga, napigil yung pagtala ni Dokmen. Dokmen, he's already running back. And now it's Killer who's running away from four members of Onyx PH. Saan po punta, Killer? My boy Archie destroyed by Baloy. Green gets a kill. Two for none so far. The direction pa ni Onyx. Papasok. Shadow kill, Choco, Piraso, Phantom Execution, Hatred, Jaylord, what oh, you doing, boy? And there's the Blazing the Wet, hindi siya binuhay, no retribution. Apat, masunod-sunod na kill para sa Onyx PH. Ang laki kanina sa sabihin ko, Renmar. Look at this dude, 4k gold lead, naging 6. Grabe lahat ng mga timing ng Onyx. Bimo, especially on that Ruby, yung unang, la, yung unang play na ginawa niya, Nag-flicker siya, papasok sa Tore Kasi alam niya, okay, gusto ko lang hulihin si Toshi Ma-interrupt at mahuli natin yung Eve Nahuli nila yung Eve, not with a flicker ultimate palayo Lumapit si Bimo muna using the flicker Tapos nag-ultimate siya Pagkatapos no, nung pumasok dun si Choco Sa apat na miyembro ng Onyx Philippines Isang kita lang ni Bimo kay Choco Isang seconds ki lang na-interrupt kagad He was brought down to 50% health in Onyx Philippines still have this massive lead and massive control oh! in the mid lane. Hindi pa sila tapos. Marky Capasho coming in from the east and exactly right, Renmar. Hindi pa sila tapos. I'm offended by Bimo. Ian Serio, what's good? Another double kill for hatred. Si Choco, hindi pa natutunaw. Napag-back pa. Pero ngayon, kumatok na sa bahay ng Origin Esports ng Onyx Philippines. They want to end this quick. Shades of Onyx PH from the early days of Season 8. Ganito sila tumapos ng laro. Pero mas madami silang kills ngayon. They've learned the trick from M3. This is so brutal. Grabe ang ginagawa ng Onyx Philippines. Initiations by Bimo, the damage from Greed, Dilarski, ito na! It's the Dilarski show na hindi mo siya mapatong pa! Oh! Pumapasok siya sa loob ng base! Kung kinaya niya, nakaisa kaya on the edge pa yun para mapatong ba! Except! But right now, Origin Esports are struggling. Origin Esports kumakapit. Humilinga pa naman. Lord at 8 minutes. Maganda yung umpisa eh. Like the first 4 minutes of the game was good for both teams. Origin was ro rotating really well. Maganda yung mga ginagawa nila. Able, of course, giving up the turtle to be able to get that purple buff away from uh, Hatred. But one play, one surprise team fight win for Onyx Philippines or skirmish win. Biglang nawala lang lahat yung flow ng Origin Esports. Nasakal na ang mapa ng Origin. But Flint or sent, sorry, on the Claude is trying to open up the map. Makabasa siya ng Torres sa taas. Delarski wow. though, still still alive. Paano yung nangyari? How? How? Pinaulanan siya ng apat, limang ult. Wala. Nabuhay pa rin. <laughs> Ang daming ult yun! Ma masigla. Maliks din si Trinchera. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just what the Uranus does in the hands. Of a very capable athlete like Dilar. Alright, so ngayon meron silang Lord in mid. Mo ang gusto lang tapusin to ng Onyx PH. Walang ult si Toshia. Mind you, there's no real revelation. Let's see. Nagahanap sila ng timing. Tatawag si Dokmen. Papasokin niya. Dalawa ha. Mga sa stun. Pero, kami bantang likod. That's going to be a punish on the hatred. It's a trade so far. One for one. Killer in Havel dito ni Dilar. Lord, swing it away at the base. Marky, Basag, Kapasho. Isa pa. One more. Wala silang minions. And finally... Game number one, go to Onyx PH. Wow. Victory! I...